Aloha. Hi, welcome and thanks for coming to my live stream. My name is Master Paul and I'm so very happy to be with you here today. Today is November 22, 2016. It is a Tuesday and just a few days before the holidays in America known as Thanksgiving. I'm very grateful to be with you here today as we're going to be covering the subject of stress in the workplace. The entire week I'm working on this series of stress <clears throat> because stress brings a great deal of imbalance to our lives. Um, we have stresses from many different ways, many different places in our lives, including the relationships, including um, uh, school, if we're in school, uh, workplace and workplace relationship issues, um, even just not having a job or finances and financial concerns. Many of us have stress from the inability to sleep, which is often due to other stresses. So the list of things that can create stress seems to be endless. And I mentioned yesterday during the live stream that uh, John Hopkins University did a research uh, project and they revealed that they believe up to 90% of all illness is related to stress. So that's a very interesting uh, uh, statistic. And so when I did a flow yesterday as to what I would uh, do in this series, it said do finances first. So I, I, I offered that yesterday. So if you have not had a chance to watch the live stream from yesterday, and when I dealt with the perspectives on um, finances, the divine perspective, actually towards the uh, latter half of the, um, the uh, live stream, um, I did, a, I did a flow from the divine. It was an extraordinary, the wisdom. <clears throat> but I also um, offered a opportunity to receive a crown chakra blessing for aligning your perspective to the divine's perspective. And the reason I came up with that idea was because I received that blessing. And it's probably one of the most potent blessings I've ever received. One of the most tangible, um, I absolutely noticed the difference blessings that that one and I received a lung blessing uh, once or twice that was very clear that was a, a significant shift and so but to have an, a, a lung blessing is tangible you know you know when you're not feeling good you know when you're feeling good but with finances and perspectives on finances that's not an immediately tangible thing or so I thought but what I came to realize is that it very much is tangible and so um, uh, for me, what happened when I received that crown chakra blessing, I, I, had a, I, I pretty much operated in a, in a little tense state around money. How am I going to pay this bill? Where's the, where's the next thing going to come from? It was this constancy of worry, basically, around it. And it wasn't, I, I thought other people didn't see it on my face, but I was told that that's not true by multiple people because after the blessing people are like something's changed you look more light what's happened and the only thing that transpired was the crown chakra blessing because I had basically looked at um, finances from the divine's perspective after that crown chakra blessing and what that looked like for me was just not worrying about it. It was, it was like, almost like this layer of trust came in and I got to see that Divine's perspective was it'll happen as it's supposed to. Don't worry, just do the service. It'll all work out. And I knew that conceptually, but to actually live it, different animal entirely. So for me, I was living it and it was a stress-free living it. It wasn't just, I'm going to try this and see how it works. I just... Um, moved into it without even thinking about it and that's why it was so profound because I was in the middle of some exceedingly stressful conditions uh, including moving to an $800 more a month place leaving a consistent paying job and going into a, a commission only based job so there was definitely no security and having to pay more and that happened about a month after the blessing but I was okay with it all because I just knew it would work out and it has so I encourage you to, to look at that video from yesterday so I see that a lot of people are joining. Um, you can also see that I have an empty chair next to me. That's for the soul world to sit in. And we're going to have a special guest in a little while because you're going to see today a, um, uh, an actual demonstration. <clears throat> so I want to acknowledge and welcome uh, all the beautiful souls joining me here today. Welcome Petra Marie. Welcome Linda. Welcome Kearley. Uh, welcome Chrissy. Welcome Richard and Ilona. 
Welcome, Kristen Rojas, uh, Gratiela, and Jean. Good to see all of you. Stephanie's joined us. Welcome, Shari. Welcome, Chelsea, and uh, Tawana, Robrett, Shari, Kayla, and family. And Sarah MacArthur's joined us. Welcome, Angie. And uh, everyone else, if I haven't uh, acknowledged you, I have not seen your name pop up, but I love you equally. So come on, let's join together. Today, we're focusing on the stress related to work, all aspects of work. Each of us are impacted differently by work and work-related stresses. Some of us were very diligent in our job, and we get into an environment, and everybody around us just doesn't seem to care like we care. And so that brings up our buttons, and it creates a resistance in the workplace. Some of us are very cool. We, we feel we bring a beautiful place, a beautiful self to the workplace, but our boss is, quote, a jerk. Some of us, we can't seem to hold a job no matter how hard we try. Some of us, we can't seem to find a job even if we, can, even if we get it. Um, uh, excuse me. We can't just seem to find that job or find the right kind of job that, that just feels right for us. All of these are related to a sense of security because although money doesn't buy you happiness, it does buy you a sense of, of uh, relief and security in that I can pay my, my bills and hopefully get ahead a little bit. And so if we have family, husbands, wives, children, or other people who are responsible financially, then that brings an additional responsibility-based stress. So all of these uh, different areas in which stress can impact us, and today's subject is on uh, the workplace, um, we're going to address those. And um, I'm not actually sure how this is going to play out. That's why I love doing these live streams, because I allow flow to occur. I allow the vine, the vine to borrow my mouth and speak the wisdoms around the subject matter. <clears throat> but I do have uh, some, some uh, uh, teaching and wisdom that will absolutely benefit us. And of course, the blessings will benefit all of us, just like yesterday's big blessings. Again, if you haven't seen yesterday's, I tell you, there was some gargantuan blessings in the middle half of that, uh, of that uh, recording. Uh, lots and lots of virtue was being offered to help shift some of our perceptions. So please go back to that. And you can find it on my, uh, my Facebook page. So welcome, Bawana. Uh, great to see you in person at the retreat. So let us far connect heart to heart, soul to soul. And then I'm going to invite in a guest. And this, this guest is one of the students and Divine Healing Hands Healers here in Hawaii. And she called me earlier today and she says, um, you know, Master Paul, is the temple open? Can I come in and serve? She just wanted from her heart to come in and clean. Heaven said, use her as a demo, reward for the heart of service. So a uh, beautiful opportunity and it just so happens she has had some workplace stresses. So you're going to be able to witness a soul reading that identifying the cause of the problem for her. Uh, uh, crown chakra blessing for releasing some of the work related stress. It'll be individual to her. So if you were to choose to receive a crown chakra blessing as well, it'll be individual to your condition. And then we'll do a, a reading afterwards as to the benefits. <clears throat> and if, uh, if my or her third eye is working uh, at this time, then we'll offer you some third eye images as well. So um, as I do this uh, crown chakra, excuse me, as I do this uh, invocation, I invite all of you to please hit the share button so other people know about this live stream and we have more opportunities to change people's lives. So let us connect, placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, dropping the left hand in front of the heart center, right hand gently pointed heavenward. Closing your eyes, releasing any stresses of the day, fully becoming present. <clears throat> dear beloved divine, dear the Tao and the source, dear the soul of Master Shah's Tao Healing Center, the countless holy beings, guides, angels, saints, saints, animals, and temple souls that are present. To the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. To the soul <coughs> of all lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, masters, ascended masters, saints, animals, Buddhas, bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary. Angels, healing angels, archangels. We love you, we love you, love you. Thank you. We thank you, we thank you. 
we are beyond honored and blessed to connect with you today and we ask for your presence. We ask you to come to sit in each of our heart centers, so all those that are watching live right now and all those that will watch this on a recording. Please come to each of us. Assist us to open our heart. Assist us to align to your wisdom and teachings that you will offer today through this live stream. Bless us to transform the blockages that inhibit us from being fully present at all times. Bless us to align our soul, heart, mind, and body to the divine's soul, heart, mind, and body. <clears throat> Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. Could you please turn on in all souls, and we invite all souls to join with us in chanting love, peace, and harmony. Connect us heart to heart, soul to soul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Again. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, la, li, lula. Lula, ha, li. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> now, don't you feel better with that? Isn't that awesome? We needed to go two rounds because um, I can always tell uh, when Divine's present, because my nose starts itching, and they 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 became fully present. It's like the room gets really full uh, about a minute or two into the chanting, and so I could just feel him crowding in. So, okay, let's chant one more time, really fully connect. Big 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 blessings. 
So welcome Michelle Melton, welcome Diane, welcome CJ, welcome Angie, and Esther. Welcome everybody, if, again if I haven't mentioned you, uh, double blessings. So we're going to be uh, chatting on stress in the workplace. I'm going to invite in a guest at this time. I'm going to then offer a flow on the stress in the workplace <clears throat> and then uh, uh, we'll just see where heaven takes us from there. So please help me welcome Aloha. Please come on in Aloha. We're trying out my double microphone system this time. Hopefully it works well. So this is Aloha. Hi. Aloha everyone. <laughs> so um, Aloha has been coming to the center about how long? Uh, I've been coming since uh, November of last year where I, I first met Master Shaw. You met him here in Hawaii? At his last, re his Dao, his last Dao retreat. Did you like find a book and then hear about him or how did you hear about I, it? A year prior, before meeting Master Shaw last November, I was living on Kauai and I found the Dao song, Dao dance book mm -hmm. and I held on to that book for a year. and. Uh, and then last November is when I first met Master Shaw. That's you know that's such a um, uh, a book that people don't really grasp the value of. Like I'm a guy, song and dance, and eh, I've gotten more used to it, right? I appreciate it now. But ego, right? Song and dance. Women, okay, love song and dance, yeah. but guys, not so much. But I tell you, that is probably one of Master Shaw's best books. It covers so much wisdom in a compact book, and it's so well done. And the power and the downloads in that book are astounding. <clears throat> That's yes. why you held on to it for a year. Yes, I received <laughs> a huge financial blessings from doing the practices, the financial practices in that book. Yeah. Changed my life forever. I know, they're astounding. Amazing. Yeah, and so then you got to see Master Shah and you witnessed why he is Master Shah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you've been a Divine Healing Hands healer. Since April. Okay. Of this year. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. So Aloha, as I mentioned, um, just showed up today at the center. And so she will be a very blessed one. Um, so <clears throat> as I spoke about, today we're going to be focusing on stress in the workplace. So I want to start by asking uh, a flow on the nature of stress and on the nature of stress related to security in the workplace. And um, a lot of us, we already know certain information. I want to see if there's additional perspectives from the divine that can assist all of us. And then we're going to uh, move forward with some other insights that I received yesterday when I did a flow um, around that. Okay? <clears throat> so, give me a moment. <clears throat> How? My name is Jobs. I am a word that represents the ability to earn income. I have been maligned and I have been coveted. I have been promoted. I have been lost. I have been almost every emotion that you have a word for. It is my unconditional service to all. As a word, I represent a function, a function of the universe. Did you know that the saints and the saints animals have jobs? Do you think they look at what they do as something that is painful, something that is unrewarding? Do you think they curse their job? I tell you, the answer is no. They do not actually vacillate on the word job. They focus on the word service. On earth it is called a job, in heaven it is called service. It has been said by many great masters that if you do what you love, you will be happy. Many of those here on earth choose a job that provides the income for them. 
<coughs> brings sustainability, security, etc. Many get a degree or an education and force themselves into a field that they wished they were not in, many times because of the morality associated with that field. And yet they do it because they have extended themselves their educational responsibilities and they have bought a house, a new shiny BMW and more. <coughs> Some just want a job so that they can pay their bills and not be so stressed out. So as you can see, my name carries many possibilities. Heavensley's, heaven's perspective should be the perspective on earth. Do you think a saint is stressed out? Do you think the saint's animals aren't in great joy in serving a human being? <clears throat> they are heavenly beings for a reason. They have elevated their perspectives, their thoughts, words, and actions to such a degree where they have advanced into a higher frequency where only those kinds of thoughts, words, and actions can exist. If the thoughts, words, and actions brought to jobs that is associated with those perspectives here on earth were brought into a heavenly realm, then those beings would fall quite quickly. They would not be able to stay <coughs> in that higher frequency. I tell you this so that you have a baseline with which to work to and towards. The first being, change your perspective to one of, I am offering service. What is your job now? Do you put things in boxes, put tape on it and ship it? Do you solder on a soldering board for electronics? <clears throat> Do you listen to people complain all day? at the cash register account? Are you responsible for hundreds of people and feel the stresses of that? When you bring a perspective of service to each of the functions that you have chosen to do, every aspect of the vibration that emanates from you towards all that are in your periphery and your field of communication changes. The person that gossips doesn't feel comfortable gossiping around you anymore. The boss that is unpleasant cannot understand why you smile and are grateful when he is or she is disrespectful. What happens is those beings simply cannot be in your frequency anymore. Either they will leave or they will shift to align to the higher frequency. It is a very simple understanding and all that is required to bring it into our workplace. All that is required to bring shift is changing our perspective on the job. People will come to us that elevate us to higher levels of potential income. Career paths will open up for you for those that do not have a job. This very often has to do with your perspective on service, your inability to have clarity on what you A, wish to do, and B, your fears around making errors like before when you left that job. Do your forgiveness, change your perspective, allow the next job that comes to be your training grounds. This is but a snippet of the great wealth of information 
that can be shared with you around the significance of the right perspective in any job. And if you are one of those that is displeased in your job of choice and you simply can't find a way in your mind to leave that job of choice, <clears throat> then the only way to transform it is to change it to service, which could bring about a great deal of resolve in so many stresses in the workplace, or you can choose a job of choice that serves you and the rest of your soul journey and move to trusting that heaven will support you and what you wish to support yourself with. Either way, it's a win-win scenario. It has been my greatest honor to offer this wisdom. This is the soul of the word jobs. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay. I have had a lot of souls come to me, but I have not, not had the soul of a word. <laughs> I've not had the soul of a word come to me before. <laughs> that was very different. It's like, I have the soul of the word jobs. Okay, how am I going to do this one? <laughs> you, just, you just let her go. See what happens. Thank you, Divine Flow. So how was that for you? That was... That was... Um, that was um, just amazing to hear that job doesn't have to be a stressful thing. Job can be of joy. Job can be in alignment to what we are all here to do, which is to serve. And that's a wonderful reminder. <laughs> that Simple, it's but... It's a, a completely amazing and beautiful way to see work. Yeah, because we call it work, right? <laughs> oh, it's a four-letter word. <laughs> so please share what your, what your uh, ahas and insights were with that message from the soul of the word jobs. <clears throat> I am... Um, I have to say, I, I, I was surprised by what came through. It, it seems so simple, and yet I've wasted oh, oh, 20 years um, in, in jobs, not being in service necessarily, not being happy, you know, in those moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amazing. So, tell us. I'm going to remove a few things on the screen here. And so what's happening in your world, Aloha, <coughs> around jobs? How, how can uh, I serve you? <laughs> well, I, um, I was telling Master Paul earlier that it's been four years now, and I've been going from job to job. Well, actually, I've been going from farm to farm. I'm an I'm a organic farmer here in the Hawaiian Islands. So about for the past three years, I've been um, tending to the land. So I have been out of a... Uh, what you would say a normal paying job and living kind of a alternative lifestyle. And so since then, to make money, I've been just doing odds and ends. Okay. Yard work, um, just... So you're still not quite sure where you fit in yet? Not at all. <laughs> okay. I'm just, I, I, not at all. I feel like I'm approaching the job world just kind of a little bit clueless as to okay. what direction I'm going to be going in. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so in your case, I'll have to do a flow as to what the name of the best crown chakra blessing for you is. <laughs> and we'll also do um, uh, a flow specific to you. Now for anyone that's interested, the reason I'm doing this, um, this teaching, this healing, this blessing, this demonstration today, because I will offer a blessing for those that stay till the end. There will be a blessing specifically for you as well. Um, the reason I'm offering this crown chakra blessing is because many of us, if, if, if anything that has been said today fits you, that means you have karma, specifically around uh, maintaining or keeping a job, maintaining or keeping happiness at the job place, possibly karma with the workplace person, the boss, whatever it might be. 
<coughs> if you haven't been able to resolve it on your own, that means that karma is, is a bit high. Now you can absolutely do a lot of forgiveness practice and bring in all the, the, the downloads, treasures, and transmissions you may have already received, anything from Master Shah's books. And if you're consistent, you, 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 know, you do your practice every day, it's possible you can transform those blockages. Sometimes we're unable to define where exactly they are um, or why it's showing up. And so that's the value of working with the divine channel. It does not have to be me. You can connect with any divine channel or Master Shah. We can all do these same services. Uh, I'm just here to be a vessel to help you to clear the blockages sooner, better, faster. And so today you'll see a demonstration as to how that can occur. So first I'm going to uh, do a flow <coughs> as to what the root blockage might be. Okay? Thank you, Master so dear the soul of Aloha, Aloha's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, bow to you as appropriate. Could you please uh, offer guidance at this time as to some of the root uh, blockages associated with Aloha aligning to her highest, highest calling, uh, the best um, form of job that aligns to her service and would provide the highest level of income that is in alignment with her service. Uh, please advise whatever information is most appropriate for us to know at this time. Also, please advise the name of the Crown Chakra Blessing that would best serve her at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, how this is Aloha's Heaven's team. Our beloved daughter, Aloha, has a very pure heart and soul, a soul of service. One of the reasons it has been on the more difficult side for her is because she has a very fine-tuned instrument that can discern relatively quickly <coughs> imbalances in the job, in the environment that she works in, in the people she works with or for. And she is not empowered with a skill set that allows her to be one with those around her that are not in alignment. So her typical response has been to leave versus seeing this as a possibility to serve her and her journey. It does not mean that she should not leave shortly thereafter if it is not the right position, but that to trust heaven, that we are bringing her on a path that will assist her to be the best when that perfect position arrives. There is a consistency of ancestral karma <coughs> related to the Hawaiian Islands. And it is not heavy karma, it is more of a trade barter karma. And one in which there was inconsistent and sometimes unfair bartering, knowing the value of something that you were receiving, your ancestors were receiving, and pumping up the value of what was being bartered to make others believe that it was a fair trade. This happened with fish. This happened with things that were made from the land, ropes, hut-based materials, and pottery materials. There was land deals that were set up to be broken based on marriages and things of that nature that if fallen apart, the land would reverse. 
So although it was not the kind of imbalances you might see directly, stealing, etc., it was known manipulation. This has left you in a place of unsurety. A blessing, when offered, will address these aspects as well as implanting new guidance, new mindsets, clarity of direction, and purpose as well as confidence in whatever you initiate into. Additionally, there will be uh, blessings for healthy acceptance and communication with those that are not easily alignable to. How? Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so did any of that flow uh, resonate with you? Yes, <coughs> it did. What parts? Um, I'm, I, I feel like I'm very, um, I can feel, you know, when I walk into a room, um, I can just feel other people's stresses and their energies. Mm -hmm. And it's almost kind of like electrifying, but not in a good way. Yeah, it's a sensitivity I, you can't adjust to. Yeah, and my, my, my chest gets heavy, and, mm -hmm. um, and I, I can almost feel people's stress, just like a blanket that goes over me. Interesting. And, yeah, and so I... it's an empath it, empathetic kind of a thing. Yeah, and it, it just <clears throat> offsets my whole... Um, my whole, my own personal feelings of happiness and joy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. gets kind of uh, dampered a little bit. I get affected okay. by other people's emotions. Okay. That might have to be addressed differently. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but heaven may give you something for that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer a crown chakra blessing. Please see if you see any third eye images. Okay. And I have to define uh, what we're going to call this. So give me a moment. And for all those that are watching, um, if any of this resonates with you, you can also receive a personal uh, flow on what is the, the root cause of any um, work-related stresses that you might be having. Um, and there would be a crown chakra blessing specific to you and your specific uh, needs or imbalances, okay? Um, this, you can find my information on my website. Uh, the, I'll go over more of it in a little bit. A crown chakra, you might have to help me remember the, the verbiage. A crown chakra blessing for releasing the fear and aligning to the highest service and mm. best paying position. Uh, the, uh, releasing the fear of aligning to the highest paying and best heart service oriented position. Does that feel you? Yeah, that's amazing. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so prepare to receive. I'll prepare myself. Uh, start by doing a forgiveness practice. Crown chakra blessing for aloha. Straighten your head a little bit. For aloha, for releasing the fear and aligning to a job that brings her the highest pay 
and at the same time aligns to her heart of service. <coughs> As appropriate, crown chakra blessing, begin. Hey, uh, 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 Thank you, Dao. Thank you, thank Source. You. Thank, you, thank, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Master Shah. Thank you, thank you, Master Paul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so hot. My goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <sighs> I was fine before that. I'm just like drenched now. <laughs> that was so powerful. Goodness. Excuse me while I <laughs> cool off. <laughs> so. So what did you mm -hmm. experience? That was amazing. I just felt like a surge of energy just fill my, my heart and my body. And I, I don't get third eye images, um, but I was seeing a very bright light. Wonderful. Feeling my, just feeling my whole, <laughs> my, I just don't experience that, but lots of light was coming through. Yeah, that was huge, 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 huge light. So I'll share with you what I saw, and then I'll, I'll do a flow. And so welcome everybody that's just showed up. Uh, I'm sorry it seems to be keep freezing on your guys' end. It looks like it's a clean feed on my end, so I apologize if it's been freezing on your guys' side. <coughs> um, okay, so what I saw was, first, um, they like popped open your head, and I saw, um, I saw these ropes going down, and your ancestors coming out of your head. And they were climbing out the ropes, and um, and then they were they were pulling up others with them, and then I got a new scene, and it was just like all of the Hawaiian Islands is pretty much, but it's just clans and tribes, and there was a lot of sharing. There was sharing of of foods. There was gourds being shared, fish. Um, there was camaraderie, dancing, hugging, forgiving, uh, uh, total aloha. You know, nose touching nose, everything that goes with that. And uh, so that's, that's what they showed me. <clears throat> um, so let me do a flow. How this is Yan Wan Ye, leader of the Akashic Records. For our beloved Aloha, tremendous virtue was offered by your ancestors. They understood the nature of this karma and have waited a great deal of time 
to be able to directly address it. Many have had to incarnate and deal with blockages at the level of inability to prosper, knowing that this was their karmic debt. <clears throat> the reason they came to offer their additional uh, virtue to you at this time <clears throat> was because you are very much like a what they're telling me is like a princess, like a you know, like the 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 anointed one that leads them out and back. Um, and they want very much for you to be prosperous in so many areas of your life. They know that they are always in your heart and that as time goes by you will do everything you can to assist them as well through the various blessings you receive they know they are automatically blessed. Regarding the specificity of this blessing for you, <clears throat> there was approximately 43 lifetimes of blockages that had been cleared and had this blessing not occurred today there is a possibility for an additional 20 to 27 lifetimes of additional financial blockages that were impeding you from finding the source of your happiness in relationship to your job. Uh, there was a possibility of losing your soul journey related to the stress associated with the inability to generate enough income that you could enjoy the services and the blessings available through Master Shah and this could have caused you to lose your soul journey. There was additional blessings to clear blockages at the heart center uh, that were carrying mindsets and um, perspectives about worthiness in having a high paying position given the skill sets that you have. And this was replaced with trust and confidence in the divine. It will look like when you go out to do whatever you choose to do that is in alignment, it will look like I can do this versus I don't know if I can do this. You will feel that difference and it is important to act upon it because the divine is behind you. There was blockages also cleared in the liver related to anger as there has been held anger uh, regarding um, tribal based things that have kept you from mm, trusting others. There was mention of imbalance <coughs> in entering rooms with others and their energies impacting you. This would need to be addressed under different condition. However, there was messages implanted in your message center that will assist you with changing perspective when these types of um, experiences occur so that you are not so directly impacted. Because although there are energetic aspects, there are also message aspects that can be addressed. On this day, there was 225,000 Shen Qijing blockages that were removed with this blessing. And we look forward to receiving your gratitude as you move into these uh, more aligned positions. This is Yan Wan Ye. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Yan Wan Ye. Thank you, Divine. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Divine. Okay. Thank you, Master Paul. You're very welcome. Thank you. Wow. Pretty big blessing, huh? That's a huge blessing. So let's bless everybody in the line together, okay? So um, we have about 10 minutes left before the live stream, so I'm going to give you as much blessings as I can. <coughs> So if you came in a little bit late and you missed the first part of this, please go back and watch this as this is recorded. It will remain on my uh, Facebook page. Uh, and if it was shared to you, it'll, of course, it'll remain on your page, Facebook page. Um, so make a request for the area in your life where there is stress-related blockages, um, uh, specific to the job. Uh, anything around the job, not finding a job, not able to maintain the job, somebody you have difficulty with, if it's an individual that you have difficulty with, a boss, mm. etc., ask the soul of that individual to come 
so that they can also receive the blessing. Okay? So, um, aloha, you can use your divine healing hands. <coughs> we ask uh, all the holy beings that are present to please offer as appropriate your additional blessings at this time. I'm going to turn on my treasure. I ask the treasures I've turned on to please radiate to all those that are watching at this time, all those that watch this in the future. We ask for the blessings to occur only as appropriate for whatever has been requested. We ask that the blessings occur for the individuals and any relation to the stress in their workplace as appropriate, including if it's with an individual uh, boss, etc., including impacting that relationship. We're very grateful for this opportunity to serve. Let us begin. Everybody close your eyes. Receive the blessings. Continue to receive. Repeat this forgiveness practice after me, dear all souls. If I or my ancestors have brought any harm to you, especially in the workplace, if I have kept you from getting the job you deserve, if I have gossiped negatively about you, if I have pushed you down, held you down, if I have kept you from earning what you fairly should have deserved, if I have been rude or disrespectful to you, not honoring of you, your work and your service, I deeply and sincerely apologize. When I look at my own job and experienced some of these things in my life, I now recognize that I must have created that same suffering upon others. And I do not wish to repeat this cycle again. I deeply apologize if I have done any of these things to you, and I ask for your unconditional forgiveness. I will not make the same mistakes again. <coughs> 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 Ha. 
Oh, how, oh, how. Oh. <coughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So I want to invite all of you to be aware of a couple of things. One is that you could receive uh, a personalized crown chakra blessing for your condition. That would include a soul reading for the root of whatever the suffering is that you're experiencing around your related <coughs> condition, which my soul readings are usually uh, $60, excuse me, $75 for a half hour. The crown chakra blessings are 100 but I will include both, including the reading afterwards, so you understand the results, if that's something of interest to you. With um, Aloha in this example, she had actually been suffering these uh, relationship, work relationship blockages for 45 lifetimes, and it would have continued for well over 20 lifetimes without a blessing of this nature. And so, if you want to continue this kind of suffering for 20 more lifetimes, um, you, can, you can. You can, of course, work it off through a lot of depthful forgiveness and bringing a lot of virtue to the table, shifting your mindsets to be in of service. And uh, Dr. Master Shah provides a lot of downloads, treasures, and transmissions in his books that are complimentary. Use all of these free things that can assist you if you're not in a position financially where right now you can, can do something like this for yourself. If you can, it is recommended simply because it shaves off so much suffering so much faster and position yourself to have some of the, the, the things that you're wanting in your life sooner, better, faster. It's always according to divine uh, and it's according to your gratitude <coughs> for receiving something of that nature. So if you maintain the right mindset of gratitude, you start moving towards service, you do your forgiveness practice, these blessings absolutely can create some amazing experiences. Also, I wanted to invite all of you to be aware <coughs> um, that I am offering a twice a month blessing. It's a huge blessing uh, and it can be for any request that you have in any part of your life. It's only $30 and it's based on a, a automatic deduction. So automatically once a month, 30 comes out, but you get two blessings twice a month and uh, you do not have to be present to receive it. Um, uh, I explain all that on my website, how to do it if that's of interest to you. I made it so affordable so that you could do it for your children or your parents or your, your husband or wife or your, your, uh, your pet. Um, I wanted to make it so affordable that people you care about as well can be positively impacted. So you can learn more at my website, <clears throat> which is asoulhealer, A-S-O-U-L, healer.com. If you want to know more about receiving a blessing that we spoke about today, or the one that I spoke of yesterday, which is for aligning uh, your, your mindset to the divine's uh, perspective on financials and abundance, um, then please watch yesterday's uh, live stream on my, web, on my Facebook page. You just scroll down a little bit and you'll see it. And it was extraordinary. The blessings on yesterday were extraordinary, but if you, uh, if you, um, you want to get a crown chakra blessing for aligning your perspective to the divine's perspective on abundance. Highly recommend that one. In any case, there's many opportunities for receiving the divine services or just continue to watch. I am here to serve you every day, Monday through Friday, same time, 2 p.m. Hawaii time, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, and elsewhere in the world, uh, your time frames change. But um, you can contact me through Facebook Messenger. Also through my website, there's a contact page and I'm able to connect with you so many different ways. Love you, love you, love you. Let me know how I can serve you. Thank you, Aloha, for your presence. Thank you. Your <laughs> light here today Paul. for being a demonstration, a great demonstration person. And thank you all. Everyone. We'll see you tomorrow, same time. Bye-bye, everybody. Aloha.